In this video I'll show you how to create this effect. So when you hover over one image, another image appears behind it. And this is kind of simple thing and we're going to be working with only one uh, pair of images which are going to be placed in the middle of the screen. But if you want to apply this effect to a number of images which uh, let's say are going to be placed uh, organized uh, into rows and columns using grids or something, uh, it would be a little bit more trickier. So I'm not going to cover uh, this part in this video. Uh, I will show you how to apply uh, this effect if you have kind of simple layout. Uh, let's uh, start with a blank page. Uh, I've already uploaded some images here. Let's just uh, drag and drop them. Uh, they are kind of large, so let's resize them a little bit. Uh, I prepared a uh, both of images, so they have absolutely the same size. And now if I would go there, I will see something like that. And here I can change scaling. And if I say 30, 30, like the same number, uh, they're going to be absolutely the same size. Uh, you may know that there are places in the middle of my screen just because I uh, use alignment center and 100% height um, yeah, also organized in center. And uh, let's have a look, uh, closer look to these things. Uh, this is a way how cargo define images. This is uh, going to be our first image and this is going to be our second image. And second image is going to be our cover. But you can also uh, reorganize them. Um, it doesn't really matter which one is going to be first, which one is going to be second. And here you need to wrap them into a new div tag. So let's just type div and close in tag. Uh, this div ha tag uh, should have an ID called image wrapper. Let's also wrap each line into a div tag. Okay, uh, this image uh, is going to be called first. And this one is going to be second. You can use any other names you want. Uh, it's, it's just an example. And the last thing we need to do here is to add classes. Uh, let's say class equals image. And let's just copy this part and add the same class to the second image. Now you can see just a little uh, change just because uh, div tag has well it's like inline block uh, so inline element so it takes uh, the whole line that's why now they're organized one under another but it doesn't really matter so uh, to make styling uh, we need to go to CSS editor and add some changes here so uh, let's start with a class image let's type dot image is how we apply styling into classes and here we need to add only one attribute position absolute so now they are placed one under another and they also take uh, like start being there let's fix that let's put them uh, in the middle of the screen again and um, now we need to call uh, our image wrapper Note that I'm using hashtag, it's just because uh, this one is ID and this one is class. Image wrapper uh, display flex. Uh, align uh, items center. Justify content center. Yeah, now they're both placed one under another, but nothing happening yet. Okay, uh, let's start uh, making hover effects. Uh, let me copy this ID, uh, then say hover. And here I need to uh, use 
second ID. And the center curly braces, I'm going to add one more line, display, none. So now you see it works. When I hover over this block, like image wrapper, uh, the second uh, I image changed. So what exactly changed is just uh, start being hidden. Uh, this is kind of easy, and if you want to go back to your uh, code and replace them, you can just replace these numbers, and it's going to be like opposite thing. So this is really easy to change. Now, this is multiple ways how to do that, but I think this one is like much easier. And also, you can use different scales. Like, let's say this one is going to be larger. It does not really matter. But uh, if, let's say, uh, you don't want uh, this image to be shown uh, when, like, we don't want them both to be shown the same way. Uh, how to fix that? Let's uh, go back to CSS editor. Now let's make some changes. Uh, let's copy this line and change second into first. And here, let's say, um, well, let's change display none into display block. And the last thing we need to do here is to say second display none. Let's just hide it. Yeah. So now when I hover, over our wrapper, so in our case, this is going to be the box which contains uh, both images. Uh, one image is getting hidden and another image uh, appears. So this is kind of easy thing. Uh, you can apply this effect to a part of elements. Uh, if you need to apply this effect to more complex structure, uh, let me know um, and I will make another video about it. Thank you.